Hey everybody, JP here from Costa Rica. Now I'm here to introduce a very special Wednesday show. We're going to talk about an upcoming fundraiser this weekend that you're going to want to be a part of for my friends Andy and Simone. God only knows what other kind of crap he's got up his sleeve. Stay tuned. Well, wasn't that a nice surprise? We haven't seen Cousin JP in a while, and I really wasn't that disappointed about it. But, uh, yeah, I'll have to get him together with PJ again, hopefully. But JP was right. We do have a uh, uh, little bit more information about the upcoming uh, fundraiser for uh, Andy and Simone this uh, weekend. We do have a very special uh, cocktail corner this week dedicated to a good friend of the show and we've been kind of learning over the past uh, few weeks the uh, value of uh, and the importance of our online friendships we're going to talk about when those things go horribly awry that's right the end of our show will uh, we'll have a kind of monologue of sorts about uh, the strange experiences we all have in that strange world of cyberspace. But again, did want to let you all know uh, that uh, there will not be a Vegas Weekly this week, if you happened to miss last Saturday's show. But we will essentially be doing Vegas Weekly live, um, 11 o'clock Eastern Time, 10 o'clock uh, Central Time, 9 o'clock Mountain Time, 8 o'clock Pacific slash Vegas Time. So it'll be a little bit of a late night around here for me but that should not be a problem. Um, in addition, there are so many other folks that are gonna be involved in this project. The last time I checked, um, I think we had 21 people, 21 different channels that were participating in the fundraiser from uh, Friday evening uh, all the way into Sunday evening. Now, it's not a true telethon. We're not gonna just go on all night. <laughs> uh, well, you know, we probably could find somebody to ramble on all night, but. Um, but that's not the purpose of it. It's not to show that we can uh, stay up all night. It's uh, to just show support to uh, Andy and Simone. If you didn't have an opportunity to check out uh, their live last week, I'm actually going to put a link to it in the show notes below so you can kind of uh, get an understanding of uh, some of what uh, they're coping with right now. And uh, I think coping extremely well. So, but obviously, any time that you face a health issue, uh, it uh, certainly cuts into your ability to work and uh, make an income. And so uh, uh, we hope that uh, you will be very generous uh, regardless of whose program it is on. Uh, we will have a link to a GoFundMe page uh, from which you'll be able to uh, donate. Essentially 100% of your uh, donations will go uh, directly to Andy and Simone. We're hoping to raise a good deal of money. So, and I think uh, in addition to the monetary value of it, it's, uh, it certainly uh, uh, makes one feel good to uh, uh, either on our side to do something or try to do something positive for our friends and uh, on uh, their side to see so many people that have uh, stood up and are supporting. And, and there's so many other folks who, you know, for various reasons couldn't or weren't able to do uh, an actual live. Um, but uh, have been so supportive. I know I uh, received a donation today designated for uh, Andy and Simone. I'll talk about that on the live on Saturday. Um, so there's a lot of folks out there uh, all around the world, actually. So we hope that you'll be one of them. And as I say, I'm gonna try to kind of do a show. There is a fair amount of Vegas news this week that we'll talk about. And um, but as, as often will be the case on a live stream, at a certain point, it'll, uh, uh, it'll, be, uh, it'll be taken over by the people in the chat as, as well, I guess, as it should be. That, that's the part of it that kind of gets to be fun. Although by the time people have reached my show, uh, they may be funned out from the previous day and a half. Um, I don't envy, I think it's uh, Vegas Best Ideas has to sort of wrap things up on Sunday night. Uh, everybody may be worn out by that time, but... Um, in any case, uh, yeah, they're involved. Um, our, our buddy PJ is involved. Uh, our good friend Mark is involved. And so many other folks. The, uh, I want to give a great deal of credit to Lucky Dog Slots, who've helped uh, organize this and put it together. 
So yeah, there'll be slot channels involved, there'll be travel channels, Vegas channels, all kinds of people will be involved. I don't know what their, the content of the other people's shows are going to be. Uh, I suspect we might have a visit from Cousin JP at some point uh, again, since he's in town. He'll probably participate in the show at some point as well. And uh, so, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll do a kind of an ask me anything, you know, if you have any questions about, uh, about me, uh, about the channel, about my plans, uh, about the upcoming trip to Vegas, uh, you can certainly ask those and uh, we'll do our best to, uh, to answer those as well as to entertain you. But um, again, keeping in mind the purpose of this is to raise some money. So uh, go cash in all those little coins you have in the jar on your bedroom uh, uh, dresser. They have machines that can do that, where you can take it to the bank, and then you get all your little cash together, and uh, you know you put it in the bank, and then you can you can send it on uh, during our fundraiser, as we're calling it. I will also put a link to uh, my particular segment of the fundraiser, um, since I, I created it as a stream yard event thing. Uh, it should be visible in YouTube, and I'm pretty sure I can share it. So if I can, I will. Um, if you think you might forget, hey, this might be the week to go ahead and hit that bell so you'll be notified anytime we do anything here on the channel. You never know when we might uh, do something crazy. Thought about doing a little bit of a field trip today, but it's kind of overcast and threatening to rain, uh, so maybe not the best day for that. So uh, I, like I said, I've, I've, I've got a rant here in just a few minutes. But uh, uh, again, main purpose uh, uh, to remind you about the fundraiser. We are just three weeks out from Vegas as you watch this. So I'm getting very excited about that. Um, should be a great time, seven nights. Um, yeah, I'm actually gonna be there on the first. It's pretty much been given away. Uh, I pretended I was not gonna come in until the third, but I'll be there on the first and I won't be leaving until the eighth. So that's going to be a full week, and uh, we'll be there most of the time. Uh, have activities planned most days with the uh, the rest of the four horsemen, I guess we'll say, um, PJ and uh, and Mark and Ryan, um, as well as fortunately uh, Mark's been able to bring Liz along on this trip, so that'll be great getting to meet her as well, and it'll be fun watching someone keep Mark in line. Well, try at least. So. Okay, speaking of people we have to try to keep in line, <laughs> it's time for PJ's Cocktail Corner. So um, I won't comment any further than that, except uh, I think this is an interesting little drink. And uh, PJ, what do you got for us this week? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wednesday show and our brand new segment, Cocktail Corner where you, the viewer, can send in your cocktail of choice and our staff mixologist PJ will make it for you right here on the Wednesday show. Now here's PJ with today's viewer cocktail. Hey John! Hey Crystal! Both of you, thanks very much for that fantastic introduction. Crystal Cocktail Corners. Couldn't have done it without you, sweetheart. Thank you very much. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of the Wednesday show in our new segment, Cocktail Corner. Well, as you can see in front of me, I've got a couple of spirits. Today's cocktail is going to be a very special cocktail for one of John's good friends over in Dublin, Ireland. His name is uh, Kevin McDonald. McDonald, I'm sorry, McDonald. And uh, the shot we're going to make for him today is called the Irish Fallen Frog. Irish Fallen Frog, and it has three ingredients. It has a melon liqueur, Bailey's Irish Cream, and a splash of grenadine, and this lovely shot glass. So let's get right to it, shall we? I think we shall. First thing we're gonna do is a little over an ounce of a melon liqueur. Looks pretty good there. All right, clear the stage. Next, man, this has got to work because I do not have much Baileys. I didn't check my supply before I came home. So what we're gonna do with the Baileys is we're just gonna uh, float it right on top, hopefully. Oh, 
Hopefully. 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 That did not work as planned. Damn it. That did not work as planned. Next, we're going to do <laughs> a couple of drips of grenadine. The effect's not going to be there. The effect is not. Uh, shoot. <laughs> oh, ladies and gentlemen. It didn't quite do what I was hoping it was going to do, but the flavors are all there. As you can see, I'll show you that up close. It is separating, but it didn't float on top like I thought it would. Anyhow, Kevin, <laughs> the Irish fallen frog. John, Crystal, ladies and gentlemen, well, this is the Wednesday show. You never know what you're going to get, but we're going to do this shot. Ooh. Ooh. You know what? It might not have looked good, but it sure tasted good. Mmm. I'm not sure why that didn't layer. Maybe I need more practice. That's a tasty shot. I like that one. John, Vegas, maybe. We'll see. Crystal, I don't know. I think you'd like this one too, though. Ladies and gentlemen, that does it for the Cocktail Corner. Now, back to John and the Wednesday show. But first, that's right. What are we going to do? Leave a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. And ladies and gentlemen, please... Let's hit that subscribe button. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to Crystal, let's give her a couple of subscribers too. All right? Thanks very much, everybody. As always, please drink responsibly. Now, John, back to you. Come on, take it away. I can't hold this any longer. <laughs> Peace, everybody. Okay. AJ didn't, didn't quite didn't quite work out the way uh, we planned it, but like I told him last night, it's the Wednesday show. You never know what you're going to get, so it's like a uh, drink, and uh, yeah, I wanted to uh, definitely dedicate that to Kevin. Um, I think he was the winner of my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, which was, uh, curiously enough, a Matt Bridger t-shirt. Um and uh, has stayed in touch uh, pretty regularly. Um, when my dad passed in March, before I could even make it back to, uh, to the homeland to visit mom, she had already gotten a sympathy card all the way from Ireland from Kevin. I'm not really sure how he got it there that fast. Maybe he flew there himself, I don't know. But uh, uh, So that uh, drink's dedicated to you, Kevin. So as I mentioned at the start of the show, we've... Uh, I think uh, many of us, anyway, have learned uh, over the last several weeks just how profound some of the friendships that we've made online are. And in, uh, in the case of this show, a lot of those friendships are what my friend Michael Movestro uh, called in one of his vlogs recently, Vegas Friends. Hashtag Vegas Friends. And, uh, and how, how important uh, the, some of those folks have become to us over time. Uh, I think the other line that he used was something, uh, they never ask you why you're going to Vegas, they ask you when you're going to Vegas, which I thought was a really nice uh, sentiment. So look forward to meeting Michael one day soon. But you know, some of the people we encounter online are not such savory characters. Uh, this morning I was, uh, well, I wasn't awakened from my slumbers. I awoke from my slumbers and, and checked in on uh, one of the many uh, chat groups in which I uh, participate on a more or less daily basis. 
with an odd mixture of people. Sometimes you have to try to remember who's in what group. But uh, hopefully we don't talk too much trash on one another so it doesn't matter. But uh, one of the uh, individuals in that group uh, received a disturbing uh, little video, which uh, they were kind enough to share with everyone else. And uh, I clicked on it, not really knowing what to expect, and watched for a minute until I realized that I was seeing what I thought I was seeing. And it was a rather disturbing image, the one I've seen personally, but uh, <laughs> not one that uh, I don't believe I've ever had sent to me. Um, let's just say uh, that uh, this person was leaving it all out there, letting us see what was going on. And uh, it, it's been my experience that uh, a lot of women, I'd say probably most women, who have even you know stuck their foot into the, uh, the shallow waters of cyberspace, regularly receive these sorts of images from random males, um, around the world. <laughs> Sometimes it may be people they've spoken to before. Sometimes they just literally come out of nowhere. No pun intended. And it is quite bizarre to me as a non-female. Uh, fortunately, no one sends me these videos. I wouldn't want to see them, so please don't. Uh, it also occurs to me that never in all of my conversations with uh, women over the years, whether it be by text or uh, on some sort of messenger service along the way, never once has it occurred to me that that would be a good idea. You know, I'll bet you what would seal the deal here is if uh, they were to see way more of me than they've ever asked to see. I can't help but think that uh, despite the fact that men and people in general can be rather boneheaded and stupid, that at some point somewhere, and perhaps it was merely a legend, this approach actually worked. That somewhere out there, there is a woman who, upon receiving one of these images, just became so happy and excited. Um, and then the guy just shared this with everyone. And everybody else has been trying to reproduce this ridiculous response. Uh, Sometimes we aren't very bright, uh, but you know, as I say, it's hard for me to imagine that, uh, that this approach works with random people on the internet, uh, but I could be wrong. Uh, perhaps all of these sorts of mindless approaches to things work. Uh, I, uh, you know, men have a tendency to just sort of whistle at women as they walk by construction sites. It's like, at, at some point, was there a woman that was like, oh, wow, and she just threw herself at the whole army of construction workers, um, you know, or hollering at women from cars. You know, at some point, did the women, was there a woman who chased down one of these vehicles and jumped in? I mean, these things don't really seem like they accomplish anything. Uh, but, you know, Somewhere along the line, maybe it worked. And that's why we still have boneheaded men, and I assume women as well, who do things like this that uh, just make no sense. I always remember in, uh, had it, it's probably been 20 years ago, we had a gentleman that worked uh, at my store who was somewhat developmentally disabled, we'll say. Other able. I don't know what the proper word is these days, but his communication skills were not that good. Um, and every time he would walk by you, he would just kind of reach up his hand and make kind of a waving sound and say, hi. And at first it seemed kind of annoying. And then I realized, you know, this is pretty much what he's got. Um, and so it was kind of cool. So, you know, you see him, he'd say hi, he'd be hi. And apparently there's a lot of men out there who, uh, whose approach to life, uh, they really never come up with any better material than this kind of garbage. Um, so I, I'm not going to attempt to apologize for men around the world because, uh, it's not my job to do that. Um, and I will say that there are, there are a lot of women online who are predators as well of a different kind. Uh, I noticed as I reached uh, sort of middle age and threatening beyond middle age that I'm frequently friended by and often messaged by, uh, oddly attractive young women. Um, now, I'll admit on occasion that, uh, that I perhaps uh, Facebook has suggested to me that uh, I be friends with uh, certain women online. And, uh, you know, after a few cocktails, it seems like a really good idea. 
but frequently they will message you and uh, uh, sometimes their English isn't so good um, <laughs> and sometimes uh, their, their um, uh, messages make very little sense but uh, inevitably they uh, end up uh, they end up uh, living in a foreign country somewhere uh, typically at least some of their relatives have died under tragic circumstances um, and they have fallen madly in love with you in the course of basically, you know, 20 conversations. Uh, they inevitably have pictures of very lovely women, um, some of whom, if you do a lovely Google search, will uh, suggest to you that you're actually now chatting with an Instagram model. But uh, that's rarely the case. In fact, I would say pretty much never the case. So, and inevitably there's some crisis that befalls them and they need money for a new phone or they need money so that they can fly to meet you or they need, they, a surprising number of them seem to play video games and need video game gift cards or just gift cards for any purpose. Um, and it's fascinating that, to, that, I mean, some of these uh, women I've talked to for a period of time uh, and I, I will never send them any money and I've told them I will never send them any money and some of them continue to talk to me. And of course, uh, it, there's a very good chance that most of them aren't women at all. Uh, there's a, a sort of a, a, in Ghana in particular, in Africa, there's kind of a, a, a sort of culture of these people who uh, try to take advantage of uh, uh, lonely men and I assume women of a certain age by uh, pretending to fall madly in love with them. It must be a somewhat unsatisfying life to uh, to try to live in such a way that uh, uh, it, the only way that you're successful is if you're able to scam somebody else. Pretty sad indeed. Uh, but I, I, a part of me actually kind of feels bad for some of these people that, uh, that this is what their life has come to, is that they're, they're out there and this is the best they can do. So I guess today when we talk about the internet, uh, in addition to talking about the best and the brightest out there, we have a lot of folks out there that uh, the best they can do is not so good. So uh, be careful out there, whether you be male, female, or whatever else you, however else you identify yourself, because there are a lot of internet scoundrels out there. All right, well, I'm gonna wrap this thing up. I have to go talk to a couple of my pretend internet girlfriends now. Uh, but uh, again, we'll be back on Saturday with a very special Vegas weekly, uh, 8 o'clock Vegas time. Don't miss it. Click the link in the notes below. You can give me a thumbs up before the show ever starts. How about that? All right. Until Saturday evening then, I hope that uh, you all have a great, lucky, and healthy week. We will see you soon. Bye-bye.